Hello and welcome to our channel, Tech Expert Tutorials. In this video, we are going to teach you how to install Tesseract OCR for Windows and show you some simple examples on how to use the application to extract text from images. Later, we will show you the accuracy of the output for each image. Tesseract is a command line OCR application written in the C, C++ language. It was originally created by Hewlett Packard and the University of Nevada, Las Vegas and became open source in 2005. Google currently sponsors this development by improving its accuracy, adding new features, and integrating with other applications. We're also going to talk a little bit about using the OpenCV package to pre-process images. For more details on this topic, see our previous video on PyTesseract. When working with Tesseract, OpenCV is not actually required, but it can significantly enhance the accuracy and reliability of your optical character recognition results. First, we need to install the Tesseract application on our machine. Search for Tesseract OCR GitHub in Google and find the open source main repo link. Clicking on this link will take you to the installation page. Scroll down to the README section and look for installing Tesseract. Click on the binary package link, which will then take you to the page that has versions for each operating system. I am on a Windows machine, so I will select the Windows 64-bit binary. Click on the Tesseract OCR W64 setup file for downloading. Once it is downloaded, run the application and follow the prompts. Remember to save the directory location for the application. You will need to add that to your environment path variable later. You can add the path to your user variables or system variables. Either one will work. We add this to the system variables so other users can access this application. Click on New and paste in the path then click OK. Now we verify the path is modified. Open your command prompt and type in tesseract dash dash version. If your path was modified correctly, you should see a version number and some other information. Tesseract dash dash help will show you some simple commands to try. For more complicated commands, add a dash extra to the command. The main option to pay attention to here is the PSM or page segmentation mode option. This will tell Tesseract some details about the image you are processing. Options 6 and 11 are the most common. Otherwise, 3 is the default. Okay, now we will process some images. We have three test images to try, showing different categories of images that are commonly used. The first image is a screenshot of the command prompt. The text here will be consistent, so we expect a high accuracy score from Tesseract. To run, type in Tesseract, the image file name, then the output file to store the extracted text. The application is very quick for one image. We will show the output using Notepad. Wow, Tesseract found most of the text correctly with just a few minor mistakes on non-alphanumeric characters, such as the X and plus for the tabs and the at sign. Next, we'll try a driver's license. We run the command again, then open the image and the output file for comparison. This time the results are not as good. This image has several different font sizes and colors and has background images under the text. These conditions can decrease the accuracy of Tesseract. So let's try a few options we discussed earlier. We try dash dash PSM6, which is for a single block of text. Probably not gonna help in this case since the text is fragmented in many locations. Okay, this option failed, but you can see the errors are different now. Next, we will process a handwritten text. Run the command again and check on the results. This test failed miserably. We should try some more options to improve the results. We'll try PSM 6 again. This time option 6 helped, but still not good enough. Let's try PSM 11. This also shows more text, but it is broken up more, even within words. Here are some other ideas you can use. OpenCV can help clean up an image by reducing blur and converting to a grayscale. Both options can help in certain cases. We show how to use these options in our video on PyTesseract OCR. Link is in the description below. As you can see, Tesseract works well with typewritten text on images, but not so well with handwritten text. There are some options that can help improve the accuracy depending on the properties of the image. If you are looking for higher accuracy, 
there are better options out there. These would include OpenAI and Gemini models. You can use these Gemini models for OCR text extraction. For details on how, see our videos on these services. Links are also in the description below. If you want to learn more about Tesseract within a Python script, see my video on PyTesseract and OCR. If you are interested in learning more about AI and its potential applications, please stay tuned for future videos where we explore the fascinating world of AI. Thanks for watching our video. Comments and suggestions are appreciated. See you next time.